We've been very successful in taking castings and turning them to stamping. Now, you have to have volume to do that. A conversion, we can go from die cast to a stamping. You can only refurbish a die cast tool so many times. Uh, tooling is very expensive because you have to have it rebuilt after X amount of parts. You can have a lot of fractures, you have a lot of flash. They had flash, they busted. If you can do a casting to stamping to save a lot of money, you get to be a hero pretty quick. For cost saving, for closer tolerance, for maintaining the tolerance. On the vending machine parts that we make now, they're doing two tools a year. A typical tool can run anywhere from $50,000 to $200,000, depending on the part. So we went in there and save them a lot of money per year because our tooling cost is unique. This right here is an example of a prox tool. Prox tooling. We call this prox tool building. Because the only thing they own is what's in proximity to their part. Where you only pay for what touches your part. Bay owns the mother shoe. So all the customer needs to buy are the inserts that go into the tool. Less upfront investment for the customer. We save anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. And our tooling is also unique because it's guaranteed for life of the project. What we did with the Vitamix is it should, should give you an idea of what extent this company is willing to go to to help you. The plastic part they were using before had a special finish on it, which actually made it a lot more expensive than the stamp part. They came to us. We've been to six other stampers. They're all turning us down. They can't make it. One stamper in particular here in Cleveland said they could make it in three pieces. Well, they wanted one piece. We're the only one that said, yeah, we can do that. We can take your product, which is currently made out of plastic, and convert it to a, a, a steel part that will be more durable, more scratch resistant, and give your part, your, your end product, a much more robust feel and look. Now, to get stainless steel, that, that's too deep a draw to do in stainless steel, so we had to come up with a way to get around that. We were able to come up with a, with a process to give a brushed stainless look to our part that normally would have had to be achieved by actually using brushed stainless, which would have been cost prohibitive. But we came up with a process to take cold rolled steel, we form it to about 85 or 90% of the features that can be put into it with forming and pressing. We laser cut in the other surfaces that need to be even higher precision. We install the PEM studs here, and then using our brushing system, which involves two robots uh, that can, at high production rates, give you the same exact brush lines and finish on every part, thousands of parts per week. We started out over there at nights by hand, sanding these down to get them to agree to it. And then of course we knew you can't do that, so they, they come up with a robot, the volumes went up, so we ended up with two of them. But it's a, a, that robot was specially designed for this project, period. Building a robotic cell enabled us to offer this option to them. It was a lot of development. We saved the money from going from plastic to metal. One of our favorite sayings was just say no to plastic, so. <laughs> BAME is the name. For quality metal stampings. BAME is the name.